What's up guys, my name is ESO and welcome back to part 3 of the Kingdom Come Deliverance Let's Play. If you guys need any guides on where to get your first polearm, bow or a really useful sword, make sure you check out the links in the description below because I'll leave some helpful starter guides there if you're interested. But let's get back into this Let's Play. You're in for a family reunion you really don't want. Leave me alone. Kill him, Runt! I cut the bastard down. I literally hate that guy right now. As you like. Oh my god. Could have just cost you a few teeth. Ah! This guy's like a bloody raid boss. Look at the size of his club. It's bigger than me. Oh my... Jesus. Oh my god. Okay, here we go, mate. Oh, what? Instantly gibbed me. Oh my god. I got one chance? Jesus. Please, doggy, help me. I told you how it would end. You should have listened to me. You can't even pick it up, he's so weak. This is nice work. The chief is going to like it. It's new, isn't it? Now, for the maiden bloodletting. Surely your father never would have imagined it would be your blood. I believe there's a word for such moments. The old man would certainly know. Well, I'm just a common killer. Did you help make it? No doubt you did. Such miserable luck. To die by the sword you helped forge. Hey, go fuckers! Who's this? Oh, that's the lady. We got raped. The games are over. Don't! This person is rebel! Oh my god, my god. I thought I was just dead. I thought I messed up and I was dead. Oh wow, these peasants got wrecked. <laughs> Jeez. Thank God we got saved. So Ragzig's sword is missing though. He got away with the sword. Oh, this is a cool car scene. Oh, really cool way to the credits. It's almost like a movie, this is so well done. And they help bury them. It's quite nice that she's still alive, like one love interest is still alive. This is so well done. It's he's going to be angry, but it's really nice that he actually came out after us to help. He knew where we went. I mean, you can imagine, like, Henry's passion was so strong that he just wanted to bury his parents. Bloody movie. Now I'm back in Tomberg, is this? No, this is a city. I've actually been here in real life as well. This is huge. The city is massive. That tower, I've actually got a picture on my Twitter page of me standing in front of that tower. 
think there's a secret entrance underneath it. Is this a relative of Teresa? Daniel Vara, written and directed by. I could put pictures next to all these names, but what the hell is going on? What the? Quest Awakening. What the fuck? Is this a nightmare? Save your parents. I've got my sword. I don't see where I'm meant to be going. Oh, it doesn't look like it's that way. Maybe it's this way. Oh, Jesus. It's a Hungarian. Speaking Hungarian. It's because I ran away like a coward. I've actually got to, like, I've actually got to fight these guys. Like, I thought I could just kill them. Get Rex, man. Oh! Oh, the parry. The parry. Okay, you next. This is so interesting. Just an innocent civilian, I've said. This is really trippy. What a nightmare. Do you need some help? Oh, God. Still, the same nightmare. <laughs> Get up, Henry. Wake up. It's a new day. Henry, can you hear me? Oh, it's Teresa. Hallelujah. I thought you'd never wake. Were you having a nightmare? Yep. Teresa? Pretty bad one. Hmm. I still have a fever. Uncle won't be pleased, but you'll have to stay in bed. Where am I? In Scalitz? We're at my uncle's mill in Rattay. I didn't know where else to go. What happened? You don't remember anything? I suppose that's not surprising. I found you in Scalitz after those bandits attacked you. I thought they'd done for you. But you were still breathing. Why in heaven's name did you go back there? It was madness. They slaughtered everyone who didn't run. My parents, I... I wanted to bury them. I had to... Don't worry. I took care of it. Thank you. Legend. Any or good babe. Christian would have done the same. Now sleep. You need your strength back. A few delirious days later. You discovered You're awake. Miller. Good morning. <laughs> it's near midnight. You've slept all day. Oh. <laughs> Oh, I feel like a horse fell on me. The beating you took was worse. Yeah. But at least the fever's broken. Lucky I survived. How did you find me? How did you manage to save me? You were lucky. I was in Scalitz and I saw Zbyshek and his thugs. I tried to distract them, but it would have been no use if those soldiers from Tamburg hadn't arrived. They were searching for you and scattered the bandits. What were you doing in Scalitz? What in the world were you doing in Scalitz? Waiting to die. What? They killed my brothers, my family, my friends. They're all dead? All of them. Everyone I ever loved. They killed one of my brothers in the mines. After that, what did I have to live for? Don't say that. There's always hope. No, there isn't. But it doesn't matter. I'm a different person now. That's sad. They were looking for me? Searching for me? 
Yes. Lord Divish sent them, led by Captain Robard. So tell me, why is a lord of such high standing interested in a blacksmith? So Divish promised Sir Radzik he'd look after me. But as for why they should care, I've no idea. I'm tired. Oh, I'm exhausted. I'm not surprised. I'll bring you water and something to eat. In the meantime, rest. You're still very weak. And even later. Hopefully we wake up in the morning. <laughs> good morning to you. Hey. How's the invalid today? Ugh, I haven't felt as good as this since they lashed me to the wheel and quartered me on the town square. Got your sense of humour back. You must be better. My uncle will be glad to hear it. I had a job persuading him to let me bring you here. If you'd lain around much longer, he really would have dumped you on the town square. You can stay until you find somewhere else to live, but my uncle will want payment for taking you in and caring for you. Where am I? And this is your uncle's house? We're in Rattay Mill. My uncle's Miller Peshek. He took me in, and I talked him into taking care of you too. Such a babe. I've been lying around long enough. I've been lying here long enough. Uncle will be pleased he's one mouth less to feed. But are you truly well enough? Yep, let's do Well it. enough to do what has to be done. Where can I find Sir Radzig? He's in the lower castle in Perkstein. He's a guest of Sir Hanish of Leiper. But someone like you can't just walk up bold as you please and demand an audience. I know Sir Radzig. And I didn't bring him his sword as I was supposed to. I must see him. If you insist, but you need to speak to my uncle first. You've been in your sick bed for over a fortnight while he paid the apothecary to tend to you, and for medicine. That's a good deal of a coin you owe him. I've been lying here two weeks. My God. <laughs> Better yeah. a fortnight in bed than an eternity in the grave. If it weren't for my uncle, you wouldn't be here at all. If it weren't for both of them, we wouldn't be here. Yeah, I owe you my life. I owe you both my life, and I'll repay my debt. You have my word. All right. But before you go to town, you should eat something. You're still weak. There's food on the table for you. I haven't eaten in two weeks. Ratty Mill is your new home. You can sleep here whenever you want, and you can... You own a trunk here. The contents of this trunk will be available to all your homes. Okay, and rented lodges. Interesting. Great. Quest started vengeance. Here we go, guys. Let's have some soup. Oh, okay. This is actually all my stuff here. I thought I was going to lose it all. Oh my god, Bianca's ring. Do you reckon Teresa's going to be pissed? I'm going to wear this. <laughs> She's like, after all of that, I saved you, and this is how you treat me? Maybe I can sell some of this stuff. I should probably take it all with me, really. <laughs> Door key. Door to where, exactly? I'm, not I'm ready to go. All full health. Oh, okay, this is the miller. A word with you, young fellow. Okay. Hello. I'm Henry. Thanks for taking care of me. My name's Henry. Thank you for taking care of me here. My name's Peshek, and I'm the miller here. You've already met my niece, Teresa. She took care of you for two whole weeks while you were in limbo. And talking of you being at death's door, while you were lying here, you worked up quite a bill with the blood letter. Who came now and again to keep you alive with his potions? He's not happy. That quack doesn't come cheap. I paid him what I could, but I still, that is, you still owe him. I see. Well, it's better to be in debt than to lie dead in a ditch. What do I owe? I'm not afraid of hard work. You won't pay for that shoveling manure. I might have a better job for you. And it's not something any fool can do. Oh, he's a dodgy you guy. To me you're a clever lad. I might trust you with something you could really make money from. What do you say? It's going to be something really dodgy, isn't it? He's going to ask you to go and hunt some illegal animals or something like that other guy. Uh, can I pay instead? No, I want to. I want to do something sneaky. What would you need from me? Well, what would you need from me? A trifle, just to take something from someone and bring it to someone else, and not get caught while you're doing it. That sounds straightforward enough. Mm. Except for not get caught. Why would anyone want to catch me? Oh, don't worry. It's just a job like any other. Only this one requires, uh, let's say, the right 
moral disposition. Do corpses bother you? Uh, no honourable man should touch them. That's the executioner's job. Did you expect I'd give you a hoe and send you out to the fields? You can dig all right, but somewhere else. I want to know whether you're going to hide behind some stupid fucking scruples, or if you might be useful for more unconventional work. Hmm. Tell me more. I was prepared for just about anything, but that's a bit much. But go on. Tell me more. Listen, it's about this ring my mate, Wojciech, the Kohelnitz Miller, had his eye on. Trouble is, they buried the ring by the gibbet along with the villain they hung while he was wearing it. Jesus Christ. You want me to dig up a corpse, take a ring from it, and give it to your friend in Kohelnitz? There's nothing sacred to you. Money first, morals later. That fellow is dead. He won't miss it. Whatever bleeding heart came up with the idea that it's disrespectful to disturb a corpse never read the Bible. It's still a human body, only it's missing a soul. Why be disgusted by something created by God? <laughs> what a badass. Okay, yeah, I'll do it. I think I've already heard more than I need to know. <laughs> You've got the tongue of the devil himself. If you tried hard enough, I bet you could justify sodomy with a goat. Watch your mouth, boy. There's a shovel here around the mill somewhere. If there's any problem, come and see me. And here's something on the side to make you dig better. Thanks. I'll need it. I can't believe I've come to this. Digging up corpses. <laughs> oh, and uh, watch out for the executioner and his hounds. They're pretty savage. And I don't just mean the dogs. You can just throw them some meat. The dogs, that is. But the executioner? Well, don't vex him. Right, okay, so we've got to get rid of the executioner or do this very sneakily. So we've got to find a shovel somewhere before we go over and pick up this guy. I'm not so sure where we're going to find this shovel. Let's have a look outside. There must be some tools around one of these sheds or something. Man, that looks beautiful. It really does look incredible, doesn't it? Can you go in here? No, it's not. Oh, is that a door? I don't think I can open that. Oh, okay. This is a shovel. Can I pick this up? Pick up. Great. Get a spade. One out of one. Sounds good, bro. I don't think I can pick up this axe, but I've already got a sword, so it doesn't matter. Okay, so if I have a quick look on the map, I kind of want to see how big it is as well. Where the bloody hell am I? Okay. This is my quest. Get the dead man's ring for Miller Pacek. Pesek. What? Oh my days. This is Townberg. The beta map was like like this sort of square section over here. Okay. But this this map is massive. And I'm literally on the other side of the map right now. I mean, considering how amazingly detailed the whole map is. It almost looks like, I mean, just like this rock, for example. It looks like it's been sort of handcrafted, like all the floral stuff has been placed. And it looks very natural. And they've really gone to a lot of time and care, I think, to do that. I'm very impressed, you know. I really want to get some lockpicks and rob somewhere. So I guess this is the first devious task we can do. I'm just going to go straight over and get this ring and pay off this debt. Then I don't have to worry about this guy. Currently, how hungry am I? I'm 53 nourishment. I think I should eat this as well. Then I'm going to be like full on food. Okay, I'm 78 now, so that's good. I don't need to worry about getting hungry anytime soon. I think when it drops below 50, like he starts complaining and saying, Oh, I'm hungry. My God. Oh, okay, so this is... Ratzak or Ratted Rats. I'm going to be so bad at pronouncing the names. I've forgotten the name of what this place was called. But uh, it looks incredible. It's massive. No wonder um, we came over here. Oh, it was Sir Radzig that um, came over here to flee. Oh, look, it's a doge and a guy with an axe. Can we talk to this hey, guy? Who's there? You see, the dog's kind of like an alarm bell, isn't he? I don't want to go inside his house. I'm not really welcome there. 
Let's just go over to this execution guy. I wonder, can I steal anything from him? I'm so devious. Look at how amazing this woodland is. Oh my god. It just looks so realistic. It's incredible. I mean, I was blown away in the beta, but you can't you just, I want to walk everywhere in this game because it looks so goddamn good. I mean, and like people are going to mod this game, I'm sure, and make the graphics look even better. The fact it's on the Cry Engine is just unreal. I mean, the forests, they just look natural. Like, you wouldn't change a thing about them. It's almost like I'm walking through a real forest. Okay, so we're almost at the question mark now. We have a quick look at the map. Yeah, we're literally right next to it. So this is... Yeah, he's got loads of dogs. I assume this is the executioner. Can we talk to him? Not long ago, you buried this convict. Let's not ask about it. Let's try and get him out of the house. Miller Peshek sent me. He's very sorry, but by mistake, he didn't give you the full weight of flour last time. He says you should come and get the balance. That rogue. How much is it? Half a sack. That's nothing to sneeze at. It certainly isn't. I'll go there right away. <laughs> Flowers. Oh, hey. Jesus. You walked into me, mate. What are you talking about? Okay, right. We've got him out of the house. I wonder if I can, like, rob him. Lockpick, easy. I don't have a lockpick. Can we pick up this? No, it's just a hoe anyway. He actually dropped his basket and ran off. He was that keen to get there. I wonder... Okay, there's a gap in the fence. So, the map marker is telling me to come over here. You discovered Gallows Hill. Oh, right, this is where they hang people. That's crazy. Look at this, man. Oh, God, that looks like a torturous device. This is where they hang people here. <laughs> Someone poo themselves when they were hanging. That was like a common thing, wasn't it? In the headman's post. Oh, God. So this is where that happens. Let me see. Oh, what's that? Here's a grave. I'm going to dig this up. I don't know if this is the right grave or it's a random one, but it's freshly dug and we know the guy was buried recently. <gasps> that's a... Is that a lady? No, no, that's where his arms are. Okay, okay, quick. Use. Nothing on the left hand. The right? Oh shit, there's nothing there either. Where the fuck is that ring? <gasps> Maybe oh, the execution is stolen. To puke. Peshek will pay for this. How do I get out? Okay, there we go. I wonder if it was just like... Maybe because he did say to me... Hey, if you can prove that you're... Uh, you know, you're... You're reliable then I'll give you something that you can make money from. So maybe he made up a story for me to go and get this ring and dig up a body and just to see if I would do it. Oh, there's actually some poo stains there. Lovely. That's too realistic. Stop it. Okay, let's go back to Peshek and uh, ask him why the hell he just asked me to dig up a body for him. I'm just going to walk through the woods. All the bird sounds as well are so realistic. You discovered Ratte. Oh, how did I not discover it earlier? So this is Ratte. That's the, the name of the place I was trying to recall earlier. The music's really nice. You can turn it off if you want, but like, I actually quite like listening to it. They recorded all this music themselves, by the way, which is amazing. I mean... It's just so much work goes into making a video game, I didn't realise. I'm going to quickly go and have a chat to some of the people here. I wonder actually, is that a map? Is that a quest marker right in front of me? Oh no, the quest marker's over there in the north. I'll have a look at the main quest in a second, but I want to finish off this quest. You discovered the bathhouse. Oh, I can wash myself. Maybe I can get the blood off my clothes. Oh, I'm clean. Oh my god, okay. So that's how you get the blood off your clothing. 
I thought once they had blood on, you know, that was it. I was screwed. But you can actually bath yourself. Okay, that's good. I wonder if we can get any gossip off the bathhouse ladies. What kind of governor is Sir Hannes? He's strict, but just. Thank God for him. He don't get mixed up in nothing like that Sir Radzig, so you don't see no one attacking us. How's life in Ratto? What's life like in Ratto? Life is good here. By God's mercy, the war's passed us by so far. There's nothing but them refugees to disturb the peace. She said it's Ratai, not Ratte. So it's Ratai. Sorry if I pronounced things wrong, guys, because I'm dyslexic, so I'm really bad with the pronunciations. Please try and put up with me. Okay, let's ask her this. How do the Ratai folk get on with the refugees? <laughs> Don't even talk to me about it. I wish that rabble was gone. I know they've met with misfortune. But here they do nothing but thieve and make problems. Oh dear. Have you heard anything about the Cumans? Have you heard anything about the Cumans Probably in Sigismund's not. army? I don't know if it's just old wives' tales, but I heard truly terrible things. Right, yeah, okay. Use the bathhouse services. I don't really know what this is. I'd like to make use of the bathhouse's services. So what are you interested in? Oh. So you can heal my wounds, okay. To pay for a wench, and everything goes with that. Nothing. Actually, never mind. <laughs> That's why he sounded a little bit embarrassed when he asked. Right, let's see if we can sell us some of my stuff. A bard potion. Save your schnapp. So to save the game, it's worth 65 gold. That's a lot of money. I can't even afford one right now. She's got 55 gold on her. Let's sell some stuff. Oh, but she won't buy the armor from me. I see. Okay. Oh, I'm not going to bother selling her anything, then. I need to find an armor merchant or someone to actually buy these goods. Oh, there's another... Is this... Oh, oh 32 gold? GG, I'm taking that. I'm going to be such a dishonorable person, man. I kind of like this game's save feature because, you know, I'm not going to lie, I do quite often when I'm playing for an RPG, you know, especially the first time, you save the game when you think there's going to be a hard battle or even the second time when you know there's going to be a hard battle and you're like, oh, okay, if I die or, you know, if um, I fail pickboxing this person, then I'll just reload my save and do it again. And it's, you know, obviously you break the mechanics and you take advantage and exploit it because you can save the game. But in this game, you can't do that. And though it's really annoying when you mess up, it does make me a little bit more fearful of doing the wrong thing and misbehaving. But at the same time, I want to have a go and just pay the consequences if something goes wrong. Because, I mean, it's quite a cool idea. But it does make you want to play the game in a different way. And though it's quite a harsh thing to have in a game, I'm really glad that they have it. And like the fast travel system as well, which I haven't shown you guys yet, but uh, we'll test it out in a bit and we'll see what it's like. But to be honest, roaming the countryside is really fun as well. There was no ring there. Oh, can, can you actually teach me about lockpicks though? That's interesting. I'll ask him that in a second. There was a corpse in the grave, but no ring. What the fuck is going on? Exactly. Easy, Hal. Hold your horses. If the ring wasn't on the corpse, the executioner must have taken it before he buried the body. I knew it. I can see where this is going. You want me to get the ring from the executioner? Yeah. Clever lad. Only I wouldn't recommend talking to him about it. He's a bit touchy on the subject of robbing the dead. It'd be better to pinch it from his house. Yeah, I'll do it. I'll definitely do it. All right, I'll go and find that ring. It should be in a trunk somewhere in the house. And look here, Henry. Do you know how to get past the lock? Get past the lock? You mean jemmy it off with a crowbar? No, you don't. I mean the delicate, gentle art of opening it quietly and with sensitivity, like popping a young maiden's cherry. <laughs> I was going to say, it sounded like he was talking about a lady when he started saying that. A young maiden's cherry. Uh, yeah, I'm going to say I can't, and then he'll give me some lockpicks, hopefully, and tell me how to do it. Yeah, I haven't had a chance to try that yet. Fucking hell. <laughs> how did I get landed with a cretin like you? <laughs> I'll have to teach you then. Come with me. Okay, okay, let's do this. You cretin. <laughs> I love the uh, the old slang in the medieval times. Like, don't vex me. Such a great way. Of I am this 
Okay. Wow, let me just appreciate the environment first. Right, does he give me a lockpick? Okay, yeah, that's good. Hold good. the lockpick in your right hand and use it to feel out the tumbler. In your left hand, you hold the blade and use it to turn the whole mechanism at the right moment. It's okay. quite easy. It only takes a bit of practice. Now try poking around in the lock of the pick until you feel the right point where the tumbler is. Okay, right. Got it? Good. Just there. Now turn the whole lock with the blade, but don't stop holding the tumbler with the pick. Otherwise, he'll be fucked and he'll have to start all over again. Right, okay. So I have to keep the tumbler in this one location here and turn the lock while I forced it and broke the lock pick. That crack could be heard in Kuttenberg. You have to watch out for that. An experienced guard will recognize the sound at once. Oh, damn it. I suck at lockpicking in Skyrim, and now I suck at it in Kingdom Come Deliverance too. Maybe I'm not going to be a good thief. Ah. I'm here for that flower. What flower? You already got it all. Someone came to me a short while ago with a message from you that you gave me short measure the last time, and you want to make it up. Then that someone was making a fool of me. I never said anyone. And I don't keep short men. I'll kick that fucker's ass. Oh dear. Oh dear. I wonder what happens if I go speak to him. Oh, we can ask him about the convict. This is a bit awkward, but recently you buried a convict, and um, this convict, um, he was my friend. Play on his feeling. Was a family man. He left three young children, and I thought it might ease their hearts if I gave them the ring their father had on him in his final hour. I'm sure you wouldn't bury him with such a valuable thing. Children, you say? You're right, I do have the ring. But actually, it's a worthless bauble. You can have it for a few groschen. Oh, we can pay 15 groschen for it, or it can go around his house and lock pick his chest. I can't give you that much. Maybe you will come back for it. Thanks, but I'm not interested. Why don't you make your bloody mind up what you want? He's trying to sell it to me. He stole the ring, though, for sure. We know that now. I want to steal it back. Jesus! Dick. Look where you're going! Right, let me carry on trying to pick this chest, then. Okay, I'm doing well. Oh, my God, please, 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 please. Oh, I did it! Yes! Oh, my God. Okay, open. There's nothing in there, obviously. Let's go find where he... There. There he is, right. Hello. Tell me something about yourself. Tell me something about yourself. There's nothing much to tell. I was born at the mill, I live here, and I'll surely die here. But before I do, I've plenty of work to do, and I hope I live to see peace in this land again. So depressing. Uh, tell me about the other millers. Can you tell me something about the other millers? There's a couple of other fellows around here in my trade. Wojciech in Kohelnitz and Simon in Sassau. It's quite a few. Okay, let's ask about them. What about this Simon in Sassau? An odd one he is, a loner who don't talk much. But he's as dogged as a hunting hound once he gets his teeth into anything. He won't let go until he sees it through, even if he has to walk over dead bodies. Okay, what about Wozek? Tell me about Wojciech. He's young and hot-blooded, with a short temper. But he's a fine fellow when you get to know him. His heart's in the right place, and he's always willing to lend a helping hand. Unfortunately, he got himself into a feud with that usurer, the merchant Wolfram Pruder. A slimy bastard he is. And now they're sworn enemies. Interesting to know. What do you think about everything that's happened? I don't concern myself with the doings of my betters. But this mess isn't good for business. Them two brothers should sort things out between themselves without dragging us into it. I don't give a damn who's king. But that usurper from Hungary has gone too far. Right, I'm either going to steal this coin or pay the guy for the coin if I can't unlock the chest. So let's run back up there and see what we can do. Right, so I've just arrived. I can't currently see him around. No idea where he is. He said that I'll probably be in his house, so maybe we should go in here. Oh, there he is. There he is. He's right there. 
Ooh, maybe I should save the game before attempting this. Let's quickly save the game. I'm gonna use a savior schnapps and save the game right now. Game save, okay, ready. I can sneak inside. The dog is barking at me, but you know, no one's noticed. Shut the door. Uh, maybe it's in this chest? I don't know. Let's try this chest quick. Oh god, it's in real time as well. I really don't want to break this lockpick. Okay, here we go. Oh, very slowly does it. Oh my god, please don't come in. I'm so close. <gasps> I unlocked it, I unlocked it. Quickly. Rob it, rob it. Is this the one with it? Oh shit! Fuck! Um, 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 oh god. Jesus Christ. Oh my god. This is not a good situation. I can't even get, get out of him. I'm trying to run past him here. He's like pushing me back into his bloody house. <laughs> Come on, then. let's go. Screw you. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, he's got a key as well. I want to take all of your stuff, mate, and strip you naked. I'm just going to kill him and steal everything. <laughs> oh, man. Hopefully no one heard that. I mean, this guy's in a pretty remote location. Oh, dear. Okay, now I can rob it. Beggar's tunic and a bludgeon. Brown felt how This guy's just got so much random stuff. All his money's in here as well. I'm just gonna take everything and sell it. Oh, I have to lockpick this. One sec, let me lockpick it. So careful. Oh god, almost there. Oh yes! You've reached a new level in lockpicking. Perfect. Dead man's ring. Yes. There we go. What? This Fine. is nothing but an ordinary copper band. It's not worth a tin penny. I don't know why he wanted me to steal it so bad then. I'm going to eat your food. I am aware I'm in a private area. I wonder if this guy has any more chests to steal. <laughs> Look at him just sitting there chilling out, man. Oh, we can unlock this one because I got the key. He's got a red deer hide. Take that, that's worth a lot. Bandages. I'm going to take the torch, why not? And the sheepskin, you know? Oh my god. This guy's rolling in it. Yes, be quiet, dog. It looks like there's some tanning hides in this place here, so hopefully I can sell some stuff to this merchant. Because the last tanner we met also sold stuff. Maybe this person will buy my uh, sheepskins and whatnot. They are stolen, but she doesn't know that, I don't think. Let's trade. Sell. Oh my god, look at all this stuff I have to sell. <sighs> She only has 75 gold. I'm just going to sell all the heavy stuff, like the bludgeon, for example. Let's sell those two. This stinks to high heaven of stolen goods. I'll buy it, but I won't pay much. <laughs> as long as we can both agree on the price. Okay, fair enough. 15 gold. What? She doesn't have enough money. Right, I've pretty much sold her everything I can. I still can't run because I'm still over encumbered. So I'm going to go back to um, my house and then put some of this stuff I don't need right now, like the second weapon in the case. But the new weapon we got off that guy is really good, so I'm going to keep that. Let's finish off this quest first, actually. Speak to our good friend here. Right, um, I've got the ring. I'll have that ring for you. Good. Nice to know you're the sort of lad I can trust with a job like that. 
Now run with the ring to Wojtek, the Miller and Kohelnitz. He'll have some work for you, and I'll have something for you soon, too. A clever fellow like you will never want for work. At the very least, I'll buy risky goods from you. I mean, the kind that used to belong to someone else and you oh. can't sell to just anyone. He's a fence. Goods. Thanks, but no thanks. I'm not a thief. Yes, I am. I am a thief. Will you teach me to pickpocket? All right, I sorted out my stuff. Let's ask our bro here to teach us pickpocketing. That sounds pretty fun. He's such a shifty guy. Didn't know he was going to be the sneak lord. Okay, will you teach me to pickpocket? Would you teach me something about the uh, milling craft? Like how to get things out of strangers' purses into your own? <laughs> Aye, why not? You're handy enough. No doubt you'll master it. Come behind the mill where we won't be seen. Oh, come behind the mill, I'll teach you. Let's go. I'll stand here and pretend I don't know you're there. You try sneaking up behind me without me seeing you and take something from my purse. Okay. First, you have to rummage in the purse. The longer you do it, the better chance you have of finding something valuable, but also of getting caught in the act. Once you've found something you want, you've got to pull it out carefully but fast enough so I don't notice. Right. Try stealing my dagger. It's there, mixed up with other things. Okay, right. Here we go. Okay, press A to pickpocket. Caught you! Oh! If this was for real, I'd be yelling for a guard. Try it again. Damn it. So the longer you hold this again. down and don't get detected, the longer window of opportunity you have to search you. their stuff. This was no good, you'd better think twice. Right, 10 seconds. Oh my God, I gotta get down there quick. And I wanna take this and now I've gotta to get to the exit. Oh God, there. Did it, I did it, great. That's the way. I hardly noticed you were there. I think you're ready to try it out for real. Best practice on drunks and sleeping folk, so you don't end up in jail before you even get started. Thanks, Pashek. Yeah, You're thanks, welcome. Pashek. But I'll be having that dagger back now. Oh, I really want the dagger, though. I genuinely might start try and steal it from him. Sleepy time. Right, okay, this is perfect. So I can get up at like 6 a.m., nine hours sleep. And it actually tells you there how much nourishment you lose and when you're going to be at full rest as well and where your health is going to be that's pretty good game saved okay so the game saves automatically there yeah, take the ring to the miller i kind of want to do this one first and then we'll go and see sir Radzig and like carry on with the main quest or something i want to be able to sell my stolen goods and get some money and then we'll visit the town right i've found an unsuspecting peasant it's gonna be my first pickpocket sus oh god Damn it, he moved. Okay, okay, I'm almost there, I'm almost there, I'm almost there. Right, what's this? I want to take this ring. Okay, get up, get up. <gasps> we did it, we did it! I've got a key to his house. Awesome. Next time we come back, I'll rob him. But now let's continue onwards to this guy, wherever he might be. I don't think it's that far away There's either. There's nothing to it. Hello? Who's this? A trader. What is it? It's just that you seem to me like a man who doesn't frighten easily. And I'm looking for someone like that. Okay. Let me put it this way. I know how to come by some serious wealth. Treasure, so to speak. And I'm willing to share this information with you for a trifling sum. Maybe I'm going to steal it from you. Sounds a little fishy to me. How do you know about it? I... Uh... Well... It's a bit of a long story. My sister married a fellow from Colin, and he was a knacker, so there was hell to pay. Anyway, this fellow's sister... No, wait, that's not it. He was from Kootenberg, not Colin. And he wasn't a knacker, but a bathhouse attendant. He's making all this right, up. All right, all right. I don't need to hear your family's entire history. <laughs> that sounds so made up. Why didn't you go and get it for yourself? I don't get it. Why don't you just get the treasure for yourself? The thing is, 
It's a bit out of the way. And with all that's happening in the country, the roads ain't safe. Never mind the forests. So I'd rather leave the joys of exploring to someone bolder than me. I believe you. Um, I've got no time for fairy tales. I've no time for such tall tales. No time for wealth? Better go and join some medicant order then, friend. Ha! Alright, bro. I'm gonna see if I can pickpocket him. He's got a sword on him as well. Maybe. Maybe I can do this. He's walking quite quickly. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, right. I didn't actually see anything in, in his inventory. I don't think I held it down for long enough. I don't know. I didn't want him to turn around and just attack me. A merchant with a sword who says he can't go into the forest because he's a bit scared and there's trouble on the roads. Yeah, I meet him on the road away from the village. Doesn't really sound legit. You can see the bridge to the castle up there. That's pretty cool. I don't know. I feel like uh, if I went into the forest, I would have been ambushed by bandits or something. That kind of thing would happen to me in the beta, so I I want to be careful. <laughs> it actually is across the river, just over here. It looks pretty damn deep here, though, doesn't it? Can I cross over? There's a little way over here. Seems to be able to get across the river. It's not deep. I don't think Henry can swim. I mean, most people can swim in the Middle Ages, so... I can only assume they can't swim. This is going to be another another dodgy guy, isn't it? He's friends with the uh, thief who's been teaching us all the naughty things in Kingdom Come Deliverance. You discovered Miller. Okay, yeah, cool. Let's go and have a chat to him over here. Oh, I didn't mean to wash myself. Be a bit hey. more careful. I want to talk to you, bro. Oh, this is a villager. This isn't the guy I want. I want to talk to this guy. The hat. Good day to you. Good day to you too, sir. I'm supposed to deliver this ring to you. Miller Peshek from Ratoy sent me with this ring for you. A ring? Here it is. Useless fucking bauble. You must be Henry, right? Peshek told me about you. What the? Why did you throw it away? Do you know how much trouble I had to get it? Peshek said it was important to you. Like I said, it's a piece of junk. It was just a test to see if you've got the balls to work for the miller. It's a custom of ours, testing fledglings in the trade with a nice little wild goose chase. What we awesome. need to see if you'll be hobbled by pointless principles, or if you're willing to use your head. Congratulations, you passed the test, and now we'll have a few jobs for you. I knew it was a test. It's like the Thieves Guild from Skyrim, but it's like the Millers are running this secret underworld thievery guild or something. Okay, uh, how can I sell stolen goods? What am I to do with these things I pilfer? No one will buy stolen goods from me. Buying and selling stolen goods is a crime. But if they're worth something, I can make sure they're, uh, properly cared for. Not that I'd buy them from you, but I could uh, store them for you. And you'll get some coin for taking care of them before. So if someone loses something and I happen to find it, I can bring it to you to store and I'll get Groshen for it. That's the arrangement. <laughs> I love how they talk about like robbery. It's like everything they're saying is treason. So they're like, oh yeah, if I find something on the road and it happens to be of value, then I can give it to you, and you can store it, and I'll, you'll get some gold. Okay, yeah. Sell stolen I've got goods. some goods here whose owners might miss them. All right. Let's see what we can do about that. I love it. It's so funny. <gasps> we can buy a dagger. We can buy a dagger from it. That's awesome. And we can buy lockpicks. Lockpicks are worth 23 gold each. Jesus. This guy has a treasure map, and I assume this one's actually worth something. Who needs a key? What's this? A skill book on opening lockpicks. Ah, right, okay. I didn't actually bring all my stolen stuff with me. Whoops, I'm an idiot. Can I help you with anything? Do you need help with anything? Just in time. There is a certain matter I need resolving. I have some scores to settle with the commander of the Talmberg Guard. 
and I want to get my own back. You may have heard that Sir Robard of Talmberg is a stickler for having all his gear neat and tidy. The commander of the guard? Sir Robard? I'm already confused. Just tell me what I need to do. <laughs> it's like this. I want you to break into the Talmberg armory and steal a few Waffen rocks with the coat of arms on them. Ah, and once Sir Robard finds some of his guardsmen's equipment is missing... He'll see to the commander of the guard, who's the only one with keys and answerable for their safekeeping. When Robard finds out he's losing things from under his nose, he'll have him whipped. And I'll get what I'm after. Satisfaction. Take at least five Waffen rocks to make it a proper stink. Okay, you can count on me. Consider it done. What am I to do with the Waffen rocks once I have them? I'll burn them to get rid of the evidence. Just make sure you don't get caught. Right, okay. Let's do it. That's in Townburg. So, you know, next time I'm up there, I'll definitely go and do that. I assume these quests will end up sort of meeting in the same place. We'll have to go back to Townburg eventually. Right, so now I'm going to try out the fast travel option and fast travel to Rate. Uh, and then we can go and do this quest here. And um, we've also got this guy as a fence, so that's pretty cool. I've got two quests now to go up here as well, so that's nice. But let's fast travel to Rate and just see. The fast traveling system progresses the day faster. And also things can happen to you on the road. I don't know if we'll experience that right now. But it takes a lot longer to fast travel. Unlike in other games, you kind of pay the consequence of fast traveling. But obviously it is still a lot faster. Okay, great. We're in Rate. Oh, we're not in yet. Halt! Who are you and where are you going? So obviously in this episode we unlock the fence which we can now sell stolen goods to. Also the first miller we met near Ratai is also now going to be unlocked as a fence once we talk to him and finish this quest. And these fences have so much more gold so it's a very very fast way to make lots of money in this game. And I'm planning on stealing loads of stuff, so it's going to be great. In the next episode, we'll be continuing on with the main quest. But I recommend you play it this way, because then if you are stealing stuff, you'll be able to sell it as you're progressing the main quest, which we're going to start doing now. And the next part is really cool, so I'm going to go ahead and edit it, and that will be out as soon as possible tomorrow. If you guys want, follow me on Twitter and Facebook. They're both linked down below in the description because then you'll get the latest news as soon as the videos come out. I've also got some other guides on where to get some weapons linked down below in the description if you need some help because literally the game is free roam from this point. You don't even need to do the main quest, but that's what I'm planning on doing personally. Thanks for watching guys and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.